Welcome to Vaidhiratnam's Yoga Samiksha video series. Today, we are going to discuss about the various perspectives on the clinical approaches of Brihat Nayobayam Kashayam. Brihat Nayobayam Kashayam is the modified version of Nayobayam Kashayam, which is developed through the experiential knowledge of the Ashtavaidyas. What makes it different about Nayobayam Kashayam is that Brihat Nayobayam Kashayam has got an additional ingredient called Stira, that is Desmodium Gangeticum. So, Brihat Nayobayam Kashayam has four key ingredients that is Bella, Sida Rhombifolia, Jeeraga, Cuminum Siminum, Shundi, Singibur Officinate and the additional ingredient Freshni Parni or Stira that is Desmodium Gangetic. Nayobayam Kashayam is usually recommended for managing conditions such as Shwasa and Hika. But uh, the addition of the Stira or Freshni Parni makes the Brihat Nayobayam Kashayam Hridya. Insights from the clinical practice shows that Brihat Nayobayam Kashayam is beneficial in managing conditions such as cardiac asthma related to functional abnormalities especially in the old age groups and palpitation and gastroesophageal reflex disease. It is also beneficial in using in pregnant women for managing conditions such as uh, hyperemesis and acid reflux. It is uh, given along with the Dhanundaran Guligya uh, for the managing such conditions in the pregnant women. Cardiac asthma is uh, one of the conditions which is being addressed and prevented by the Brihat Nayobayam Kashayam. But I would like to emphasize that the cardiac asthma related to the functional deformities is being addressed by this Kashayam. This cardiac asthma is uh, characterized by the symptoms such as wheezing, coughing and shortness of the breath uh, due to the fluid accumulation in the lungs. And older individuals are more susceptible to such type of conditions. And this fluid buildup may be the result of the weak pumping of the heart or the leaky valve. So, and it, uh, if it persists, it can lead to certain conditions such as cardiac muscular hypertrophy, tissue damage, oxidative stress, hypertension and many other such conditions. What is interesting about Brihat Nayabayam Kashayam is that it is having impact on digestive system, respiratory system and the cardiovascular system. Research works of the ingredients present in the formulation also supports the traditional claim that the Brihat Nayabayam Kashayam can be useful for the management and prevention of such conditions. And the hypertrophic effect of the Desmodium gangeticum in the cell lines suggests that its activity helps in reducing the oxidative stress and the mitochondrial alterations in the cardiomyoblast. And the phytochemicals present in Desmodium gangeticum, especially uh, the gallic acid, quercetin, atropine, berberin, etc., are found to be beneficial in man managing the cardiomyopathies. Experimental studies of the Sida rhombifolia, one of the ing main ingredients in this formulation, uh, shows that. It is having uh, cardioprotective activity by elevating the uh, myocardial necrosis by having result in reducing the heart rate, the plasma lipid profile and also the plasma markers of the uh, cardiac enzymes. And uh, some of the uh, constituents present in the uh, Sida Romifolia that is Vesicin, Vesicinone and Vesicinol have got bronchodilatory activity which is helpful in relieving the respiratory symptoms such as uh, wheezing, coughing etc. And the other two ingredients that is cuminum simnum and singibar officinale is having antioxidant and anti-inflammatory activity and which is also found to be beneficial in respiratory symptoms like uh, coughing and wheezing. Additionally, the anti-hypertensive and anti-hyperlipidemic activity of cuminum simnum and singibar officinale has been found to be beneficial in controlling the predisposing factors of such conditions. All these factors throw light into the mechanism of action of Brihat Nayobayam Kashayam and also emphasizes its role in the preventive cardiology. Thank you.